What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well today. We're on my iPhone right now with the gel filter on because the blue lights are on. And this is my Lagoon 25. If you guys are new here, uh, this is my first reef tank that I started out with. I bought this tank from, I think, Dr. Foster's for $1.99 and it came with the pump and everything <laughs> that was what sold me on buying the tank is that it was an all-in-one and it came with the pump and everything and I didn't really need to worry about um, buying the pump and things like that so $1.99 from Dr. Foster's and I bought the light uh, so Ocean Revive um, Arctic model. I'll, I'll leave a link down in the description where I got the light. Um, had a lot of questions recently on the light itself um, and if it works. It definitely works. It grows corals. Um, as you can see in here, it's filled with pallies and zoas. And I've had um, SPS in here, like sticks and money caps season's greeting money cap mushrooms um, gsp down here i have some more mushrooms in the back candy canes it does work uh, for growing corals any type of corals you want now for the ocean revive it's pretty cheap back then it was like one 40 or something like that so I picked one up and for the bracket I hacked a an Ecotech XR30 bracket for for this Ocean Revive right here it worked pretty well and everything's kind of slick and it looks like it belongs together the only thing is that this bracket was like a hundred bucks and I thought that was too much even now when thinking back I think that's too much now with this tank I had a whole bunch of euphelia in here um, one side had hammers on this side right here and this other side had torches and I went through a little mini crash because of negligence um, I thought all of my parameters were fine but the but the hammers, um, the mouth was just gaping open all of the time. And I knew something was off, but I couldn't figure it out. And I kept doing um, water changes for the tank and it wasn't getting any better until one day uh, I was doing a water change and I decided to stick my hose into this um, algae scrubber right here. I didn't really maintain the algae scrubber at all and what was happening was um, the pump was pumping in uneaten food and all of that and all of that gunk was settling in at the bottom of the algae scrubber and that was kind of building up uh, who knows ammonia nitrite or nitrate whichever one was bad for your corals it was just coming out of this algae scrubber and my hammers were right here on this corner right underneath it and it was just getting a lot of dirty water um, flowing onto it 24 7 and it was affecting its health so I didn't know what was going on until I um, put the hose in here and I siphoned out the water and boy did it stink my kids were about to throw up when they took a whiff of that. So I tried to save my um, euphelias by moving it into the um, Red Sea Reef for 350. And I lost most of my hammers, but my, my torches seemed to be doing well. You now this tank just turned into a Zoa and Pally um, grow out tank, I guess. Let me turn off the wave makers and everything so we can take a top-down look I started collecting all of the different um, Zoa and Pallies out there so I can have my own collection collection going on you know so off the top layer right here is just a frag rack but 
I picked up a lot through um, Aquashella like a year ago and then through local reefers um, just buying a polyp at a time and then just kind of growing it out yourself on top layer I have a whole bunch of different varieties right there know all the names but I'm pretty sure if I just start naming them off everyone's just gonna get confused so the top layer has all of the mix, mixed varieties right here I'm just trying to grow them out this bottom layer here uh, is just taken over by uh, Pandora's I need to cut them up and sell them get rid of them or whatever before this makes it onto the third layer and I don't want that happening this pally was on the very bottom layer and it started just um, creeping up creeping up and I just kind of left it alone you know so I get I gotta keep my eye on that but here you see a whole bunch of scrambled eggs and um, sunny D's sunny D's on the bottom right here and up top I think those are gobstoppers mixed in with some set scrambled eggs and super saiyans but yeah check it out I very much enjoy this tank because it's a nano tank if anything goes out of whack you just like mix up a five gallon bucket and do a five gallon water change and everything would be going back to normal simple as that and doesn't cost much to run at all uh, have a skimmer up top but haven't really turned it on I think you could just go skimmerless uh, I do run bio pellets on this end right here and the uh, auto top off but other than that it's just a really simple tank and Zoas are pretty simple to keep themselves before you guys call the tang police on me I have a couple of tangs in here and a couple of brasses uh, the goal is to kinda upgrade from this tank into a real big frag tank I have a 160 in the garage right now and I want to set that up and then move all of these zoas into that big giant frag tank and just grow everything out. I have a couple of tanks and I have the uh, copper band butterfly right there because I had some Aptasia issues with the tank. Aptasia seems to be gone but every now and then I'll spot one and I'll spot some inside the the back chamber itself and I've been just kind of putting um, calc on them to kind of kill them off whenever I see them but I just got the copper band just so they can pick, pick at the little small aptasia when they see them whole playlist on how I built up this um, Lagoon 25 if you guys are interested I'll leave a link up on the left hand corner so you guys can check it out but yeah um i just wanted to do this video because i've been getting a lot of questions on the ocean revive and if they work they do work it's just a simple black box um, two channels blue and white i usually run blue first um, for i think this tank turns on i have this tank turning on um, later in the day so I can see it at night um, with it on um, so it turns on at 12 noon just the blue lights for like an hour or two and then after an hour or two the white lights kick on with the blue lights and they both go on all the way until around 9 o'clock and then the white lights go off and then blue lights stay on for another two hours or so so I can enjoy the the pop right here 
everything just pops with the blue uh, blue and UV on um, as you can see all of the colors pop and that's what I'm looking for and with the lagoon you can turn off all of the flow and just check out the the top view like this and it's a very cool view to see all of the corals out here like this so the lights do work um, I forgot who asked me but uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below what you guys think I think the ocean revives are are pretty good for what it is it was like 140 I bought it off of Amazon I believe I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check it out but it's a simple light box it's just two channels you just set up the timer within the box and it just kicks on and off you don't have any um, sliders or controls like the AI primes or anything like that but I don't think you need it you just set up your times and then you forget about it uh, I set this up I think almost two years ago now and then it's just been running like it ever since and I haven't really adjusted the lighting or messed with it at all um, I have the I have the oh, you guys can't see this too dark I have the settings um, written down on my door right here so I have channel 1 at 28 and then channel 2 at 12 so it's not even fully 100% on and this is how my tanks looking you guys can check it out right here give you guys a closer look on the sides and everything well I feel like I'm just kind of rambling on for a bit now if you guys have any questions with the Lagoon 25 here and anything about the tank or the lighting itself uh, just hit me up in the comments section below or um, find me on Instagram I'll be glad to help you guys out anyways that's all I want to really update you guys on this tank for today and I'll catch you guys on the next one Bye.